hey homies welcome back to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and hit subscribe give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell to be notified for every new video that drops today we're gonna get our blood moving let's go for a walk Don't give up on yourself. When you have moments where your energy is low, find something to get you back up. Surround yourself with people who keep you motivated and pour into you. Not just people who make withdrawals and push. Change your scenery, change your surroundings, but get out there, whatever it is, whether it's exercise, crushing your personal goals, business goals, spiritual goals, whatever. Like, don't ever give up on yourself. Even small steps towards the end game is worth it. Five minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes, whatever. All right, I believe in you. I got you. I love you. Keep going. Let's go. Good morning, y'all. <sighs> so my alarm went off twice. I think I hit snooze each time. Um, I'm off today, so that's why I kind of was impressed. But then I remembered I have an appointment this morning. It's either 8 or 8.30. I'm not sure. <laughs> I need to get up and get moving because I haven't picked anything to wear today. And I have a couple more things that I need to do. Um, so, yeah. I need to get out of this bed. So let's go. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope um, your week has been going good so far, that you've been taking those mental breaks that you need, that you've been recharging, been taking care of yourself. I know that this year has been a bit of a, for all if not most of us, it, most if not all of us this year has been like crazy like what is this like I keep trying to wake up and think that it this was just it didn't happen but I mean it is what it is so every day like let's shake ourselves up get up put our big girl big boy underwear on <laughs> and conquer the day anyway let me get up and get this day started. Let's listen to some music. Okay, so they gonna call me. Yeah. So yeah, it's 66 degrees bipolar weather that I told y'all about. I hopped out the house with a thin shirt, had to grab this hoodie out the um trunk. So I'm just looking like whatever now at this point. I'm gonna run into the post office, drop off a package, and then run to the next thing that I have to do. So
decided to get some ink for my printer and I was contemplating Chick-fil-A. How the ever, how the ever. The line is in the street, so we're gonna nix on that. Y'all, ink is expensive. I think for two cartridges, I'm about to pay almost $60. side of guacamole please to the grocery store and then Target to pick up a couple of things and get back in the house and get what I need to get. So I'm trying to get out here before it gets crowded and head back indoors. So I'm not gonna do too much talking. Um, I'm just taking you guys with me. I'm gonna head to Aldi's really quick and then we're gonna go to Target. It's empty. This is exactly how I like it. I don't like a whole bunch of people in the store when I shop. I'm real like I'm real funny like that. I like um, to get in here when it's clean. The people in the store feel like they want to work. You know, like I like that. Like let's get in here when everybody's in a good mood. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and I'm running real quick. 
y'all we don't need but a couple of items and when i say we i mean you and i we just need a couple things i need some ears of corn um i need some sausage probably gonna do like a boil this evening um what else just a couple things like really seriously it should be one shopping bag and call it a day okay don't act up don't come in here acting like you want everything in the store okay we're gonna run in and run out to go out every now and again um but majority of the times i like to cook at home and then like just do activities out so this weekend will be me doing like a lot of cooking and stuff so so let's see if i was even close with it on the list because i wasn't supposed to get all my stuff at all these so I got sausage, ground Italian sausage, I got corned beef hash, I got biscuits, I got paper plates, I got one. Ooh, I did good. Pepperoni. Uh, 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 uh. I just need a couple of things. All right, we did good. See, trying to be hard on myself because I was intending on getting the rest of the stuff at um, Target. So I just need aluminum pans. We're gonna stop at the Dollar Tree. I need to get lemonade. I want good organic lemonade. So I'm gonna get that from um, Target. And I want corn on the cob. And I'm not playing games today. I'm gonna stay focused. So I'm gonna go buy the Dollar Tree, grab some aluminum pans. And one of my faves here on um, the YT it's these clear mugs that I'm gonna see if they have at um, the Dollar Tree. So let's go. It's Sunday morning. Last vlog, I said we were going to get some Jamaican food, but by the time we left the house, they ran out of most of the things that accompanied the liver, the ackee and sawfish. So it didn't make sense. So we're up early. You know, you were supposed to set your clocks back an hour today, which I totally forgot. So like we're bright eyed and it's 745. They open at eight. Are we greedy? Nah. We just like are an hour ahead of time. Anyway, so we're on our way to the Jamaican spot today. Um, and we're gonna take you with us. So you can eat with us, okay? Let's.
this and y'all know that usually I get my acne from the backyard when I visit my parents. This was the best acne and salt fish that I've had in Orlando. The acne to salt fish ratio was on point. They gave me, look at all that, and I ate all of what was over there. They gave me so much acne. Just a little bit of salt fish. I mean, it was the right ratio. I don't know if there are people out there that love acne more than a salt fish. That's me. The banana was on point. I don't like them too firm. I like it half, like a little soft, a little firm. Then these dumplings were about that big. Not too big and they firm. I think they put a little bit of cornmeal in there. Like that's like your old girl cooked it. Like if you're in the Orlando area, please come and check out Sunshine Caribbean Bakery. Caribbean Sunshine Bakery. I'll put the name at the bottom of here. Because this, you gotta come get that. It was like that was the best acne and saltfish I've had in Orlando. So definitely a spot out here when I'm missing home. Bob Marley attire, they got it. I'm going to end the vlog here. Until next time, stay safe.